Здравейте, скъпи приятели! Днес ще представим нещо много интересно. Тук сме създали от Aperture, който ще ни представи най-новият им продукт, който е от доста висок клас. И за много от нас той ще бъде нещо интересно, с което ще се срещнем за първи път. Именно за това искам да направим това видео, което Даниел да ни разкаже малко повече за тези две страхотни осветления зад нас. Днешното видео ще бъде на английски. Hi Daniel! Welcome to Bulgaria. Thank you very much. I'm happy to meet you here today. Likewise. So you can explain us about your high-end uh, equipment that Aperture has made. Yeah. Can you explain us more about what we have here today? So right here we have two of the electro storms, the CS15 and the XT26. Um, the CS15 with 1,585 watts of LED output mm -hmm. and the uh, XT26 having 2,600 uh, watts of LED output. We see that they're a lot bigger than usual uh, studios equipment which we have seen in my YouTube channel. Uh, what specific, what specific about these products? I, I can see that one is B color, the other one is RGB. Can you explain us uh, more about that? Uh, yes, for sure. So these two lights are the next step in Aperture's uh, portfolio of products. Mm -hmm. um, at Aperture we strive to have an Aperture product for every type of video maker or cinematographer, content creator. Mm -hmm. um, starting with um, the Lightstorm series, moving on to Electrostorm series. Mm -hmm. So a an an Lightstorm series that starts at 120D Mark II moves on to 300 watts, then 600 and 1200. Yes. And then once you're uh, more comfortable with those types of lights, getting to a more professional environment, then the Electrostorm will be the next step in that evolution of your workflow. Yeah, so it's a, it's a thing that usually people are going to meet in their later professional development and seeing on uh, more professional sets, as far as I understand. That's correct. Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, we have a lot of interesting, let's say, toys here. <laughs> Can you explain us more about what we have about the one light and what we have about the other? I see that you have also brand new mount for this, uh, these lights. So this is going to be very interesting to hear about from you. Yeah, so the CS15 has the um, biggest output uh, on the market right now for an RGB WW light, mm -hmm. single source. Um, it's fully IP65, so you can leave it outside in the rain and the snow without any issues. That helps a lot. Um, then that's the same goes for the Fresnel, mm -hmm. which is motorized as well. Whoa. So once you have your Fresnel on a cherry picker or a crane, you can easily adjust that with your Citus Lane cap through the palm of your hand, so on your phone, um, but also with uh, the MX uh, or CRMX signal. So, and then next to it, we have the XT26, which is a uh, bicolor that also can correct green and magenta. Mm -hmm. um, also IP65 and CRMX and wired DMX, but also Artnet and SAC and connectors. So far more professional um, control, uh, control as in to the previous units uh, of the Lightstorm series. I understand. Okay, great. Uh, what about the new mount you have? Can you tell us more about it? As far as understood, uh, the lights itself can understand what type, uh, what type of uh, reflector you have set it on the light itself. Can you explain us more about that? Sure. We actually have two mounts on the Electrostorm. Mm -hmm. um, one is the traditional Bowens mount that mm -hmm. you can find on our previous lights as well. Um, but an additional mount around that Bowens mount ring um, is the aperture mount. An yes. aperture mount is basically a thicker version of the Bowens mount mm -hmm. with five connector pins that passes data but also power. Mm -hmm. Power for the Fresnel or data for any other A mount uh, accessory built or uh, attached to the light. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, you have your light high up in mm -hmm. a studio or whatever, and you can't remember what type of reflector you have on it, the controller will exactly tell you, hey, that's the medium reflector, that's the wide reflector, or that's the Fresnel. So it saves time and like efforts to check out what you have on a set, what the settings are, things that are saving you time, and of course, you're working faster on the set. So uh, 
Well, okay, you have a different type of uh, reflectors. Can you explain us more about the reflectors which you have here today as a models so people can see them and understand what they work for? Yeah, so let's start first with the non-reflector, mm -hmm. which is the open-face uh, barn door adapter. Mm -hmm. So the same barn doors that you see over there on the medium reflector can go on here mm -hmm. and that will be your open-face reflector. Mm -hmm. Then from there on, we'll move towards the um, wide reflector. That's a reflector with 50 degrees beam angle. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna give you the, the widest available beam angle uh, with a reflector. The same barn doors can fit on this reflector. Then afterwards we have the 35 degrees reflector. This one, which, this one which exactly. we have here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the medium one. As you can see, the barn doors go on that as well. And then the narrowest reflector, that's this one over here and that comes in at um, 20 degrees beam angle. It looks very big, but I today I had a chance to try to just, it's, it's not so heavy as it looks, which surprised me really. Uh, what about this one? What about the spotlight we have here? Yeah. Uh, I saw a lot of different components for it, uh, which we can use. It helps a lot in the process of setting specific spotlight. Can you explain us more about that? So the Spotlight Max is uh, specifically designed for uh, light storm units starting off 600 watts of output, mm -hmm. 1200 and then moving on to the electro storm, the 15 and 26. The feedback that we received from the previous Spotlight mount, we've implemented in the design of the Spotlight Max. Mm -hmm. So for now, for example, you can take off the yoke mm -hmm. that will save you on weight. Um, there's three different types of lenses, the 19, the 36 and the much requested 50 degrees beam angle. Nice. Um, but other than that, there's also an additional accessory, the ETC adapter lens. Mm -hmm. So you can use ETC source for prime lenses and have a more variety of lenses. My right. favorite one is, for example, the five degree beam angle, because that one in the, over the distance is very sexy. Nice, nice. Uh, what about elements like this? Should we, should we show the, our viewers what we have of course. here? So other elements to help you shape your light mm -hmm. alongside with the Spotlight Max and the Electrostorms. Um, we also have an additional iris that can be used for the Spotlight Max. Mm -hmm. we, the Spotlight Max also comes with the rotatable gobo clip. Rotatable. Yes. Yeah. So once it's set inside, you can easily rotate your gobos and that way uh, you won't burn your hands if you're not using gaffer gloves. Once again, we're making the things more easier for the users. Exactly. Well. Great, yeah. great. What about the regular cookies we see here? <laughs> well, regular <laughs> cookies are quite metal. I wouldn't advise to eat them. Um, but those are the gobos. So it comes mm -hmm. with three standard gobos. Mm -hmm. And then we, we also have an uh, additional accessory pack with 10 different extra gobos. So the gobo holder takes a size gobos, but mm -hmm. also B size gobos with the B size gobo adapter. Adapter, nice. And you can use glass gobos as metal ones. Nice, great. One, th one more thing that I see that is going to be very comfortable for users. Can you tell us more about the controlling elements we have with each light? Not in detail, in general. Uh, so in general, well, they're, they're the ballast you see over here on this trolley and next to this stand. Um, from there, there's a 15 meters cable that goes into the lamp head um, with a dual power supply built in. The um, power goes through the cable and to the motorized Fresnel and mm. motorized yoke, and of course also the light. The full set is IP65, so you can have the controller outside as well. Right. Um, and from there, you'll see a power cable that goes directly into the regular 16 amps um, socket. From the controller, Mm -hmm. um, you can also set to high speed mode mm -hmm. and high speed mode will allow you to shoot at any frame rate with these light, mm -hmm. flicker free. Great. Other than that, there's also built in effects that will allow you to use those effects on set and change the moods up to your certain needs. Such effects are uh, fire, lighting, strobe, Mm -hmm. uh, cop car if you're using the, elect uh, the Electrostorm CS15 mm -hmm. and um, many more. This is great to see such a specific uh, features on such a big lights which usually are people like me are not used to see. I mean in general I'm using much smaller RGB lights for type, this type of effects. Daniel thank you for your time and 
explaining to us for all these interesting products from Aperture today. Uh, thank you. I, I hope you feel I hope you feel welcome here in Bulgaria and to see you soon again. Do you have anything to say to our friends? Well, thank you very much for uh, having this interview with me. Appreciate your time and the effort you took into uh, go through the products. And thank you guys for watching. And I hope uh, you'll be able to test these units uh, soon in any environment that you work with. As a vas, kapi prijatelji, I'm going to move on in Bulgaria now. Sure. As a vas, kapi prijatelji, ošte mi ušte bogodreći bih s nas Днес в това видео не сме 12 март, а утре на 13. Това Дан ще се опита да окачи днес и аз ще се опитам да го направя същото. Дан ще успееш ли? Дай една ръка отпред, ако ще успееш. Значи Дан е обещал и аз ще се опитам да монтирам днес видеото, така че вие да разберете за утрешното събитие тук в Динафос на 13 март 2024 година, в което ще може да дойдете на място да тествате и да видите самите осветления. Да, това са хай-енд продукти, които определено си струва да ги видите и да разберете малко повече за тях. Благодаря, че бяхте днес с нас тук в Динафос. Аз съм Цецо, това е мой YouTube канал. Ще се видим скоро. До скоро. Чао!